Just an eagle, you know that it's true. Yeah. What's up guys, Justin Eagle here. Today we are back with another Kings Island video. And we all know that Kings Island has seasonal meal plans. But what about when a company sponsors a day for the company employees to go out and enjoy Kings Island? What about their meal plans? What does it look like? How does it taste? All these different sorts of things we're going to go over today. And uh, yeah, guys, this is real specific. I love Kings Island, and let's get right into it. Okay, you're at Kings Island with your family on a company-sponsored Kings Island adventure trip. Let's say you've rode a couple of rides, and now you guys are hungry, and you're ready to eat. Well, you'll want to make your way on over to Picnic Grove which is a subsection of Kings Island perfectly designed for company sponsored picnic food eating scavengers and that's exactly what you are and exactly what you'll be when you're dining on this beautiful buffet brought to you by Kings Island and sponsored by your company it's a wonderful event picnic grove it's a great thing about Kings Island here we go guys, Picnic Grove at Kings Island. You'll wait in line, you'll get your meal tickets ready so that the employee at Kings Island can scan them. But before we get into all this, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe right now. Let's keep this going. I need my numbers going up. I would really appreciate your subscription. So yeah guys, I really hope you're enjoying this video. I hope that it offered some type of educational value to you. Like say, Justin, I'm watching this from the future. Like my company has sponsored a trip to Kings Island and I'm wondering what the meal is, like what we will be fed. Well guys, you're about to watch it right now. So let's get right into it. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay awesome. Let's go. So yeah, guys, you're at your company sponsored Kings Island outing. You're going to be waiting in line at Picnic Grove. This is the place that you'll bring your ticket. You can either print it out or you can also show it digitally on your phone. They just need to be able to scan it and then that will give you access to Picnic Grove, which has several outlets where you can go and eat and also dine on certain buffets and be able to get the food that you like. And yeah, guys, here we go. be more delicious than that as you can see it here it was very good and uh, it's prepared well and I also think that you guys would enjoy it along with hot dogs and pulled pork we also have chicken tenders and a fruit mix a great combination so yeah guys you just sat down you got your food but you realized you forgot your drink well you go to these coke refreshment stations at Cedar Grove in Kings Island. As you can see here, they have a variety of options. The standard Coke products, it's a bit of a mishigash. Sometimes there's ice flowing everywhere, but all around, it's still good. Sometimes you'll run into products being out, but generally in Cedar Grove, that does not happen. 
and the cups are on wide supply so it should be pretty easy for you guys to get your drink and then head back to your picnic table where you can enjoy your food and refreshments as you can see here directly adjacent from the bee shelter we have the delirium shelter and depending on what time of day your food is served and what they have planned during your adventure you can also find additional shelter here to where you can go and eat your food and maybe find additional picnic tables where you could find none and also potentially find the food that you were looking for all along so finally you have found your proper seating arrangement for your family you've chosen a picnic table you've gathered your food you've got your drink and you're ready to enjoy it well sort of a side effect of this time of the year with most company sponsored picnics is that you'll be also somewhat annoyed by an annoying pest like a yellow Bruh. jacket and they'll be somewhat a nuisance during this whole time uh, you'll be swatting them away they'll be after the food so if you want to avoid the yellow jackets i would say go to a shelter Bruh. that is not actually hat like has food in it like there's not food in their buffets it's just empty trays like we saw at the delirium shelter and you'll be able to sit down there and hopefully avoid most of the yellow jackets but unfortunately during this time of year they're a pretty big problem What's up guys, Justin Eagle here. I'm here right now. It's the Toy Moto sponsored event here at King's Island. We got the free can. I can tell you right now that the pulled pork is actually probably the best option. The chicken does taste really good. I know you guys saw the chicken. The big problem here is the yellow jackets. The bees, you saw them. They were all over me. They're all over everyone. They can smell food a mile away and they're here to feast, but Overall, the pulled pork was the best option. You do have chips. There are cookies. You can get some fruit. And, uh, you know, they got hot dogs. The hot dogs was okay. I wish they had some other kind of condiment to go on top of it. Um, but, yeah, overall, as far as, you know, a, a, a catered service, it's probably like 6, 7 out of 10. <laughs> I saw a couple servicemen maintaining the food. There were, there were uh, Kings Island employees here that were assisting people. Um, you know, uh, definitely happy about it, but the, the yellow jacket problem it needs to be addressed. And if you come to one of these events, you saw the private facilities here, you see what they offer, but there's some hidden intangibles that aren't really uh, known to the public until you get here. So, you know, definitely try to avoid them. And, uh, Got a refreshment stand, both Cokes, you can get all Coke products. So, yeah, overall, pleasant experience.